Okay, so last week I said that I was going to learn how to build a chat GPT app as a part of OpenAI's new apps SDK. Um, I figured it out last weekend, built something small, so I'm going to show that now. Um, first, I studied the OpenAI's uh, apps SDK, so basically it allows you to build apps inside of ChatGPT. Um, it's, it's an MCP server, basically, but with UI components being passed in to ChatGPT. So you kind of have to go here uh, and study their app design guidelines and a bunch of different ways to set up your servers and deploy your apps. Um, and I um, got some help from some of the existing uh, examples out there. I'll post them in the chat. Uh, I mean, I'll post them in the comments. Uh, so you can take a look at them. But what I ended up doing is um, I just uh, extended an MCP tool to my existing personal AI assistant, Chloe, um, to kind of return one visual component as part of uh, one of its MCP tools. And um, so let's kind of test that out. So first I'm in Claude, so we're going to go back and forth between Claude and ChatGPT. So you can see how awesome MCP is, like you can use it across multiple AI assistants. So in Claude, I already have a multiple um, MCP servers. I have my Memkit MCP, Chloe, and AIDB MCP. So these are all turned on, so it's gonna check the tools. So let's do this. So what's my latest calorie situation right now? So now this should ask um, Chloe, because Chloe knows, and uh, always allow. So I ate something this morning, I logged that, so that should uh, return that right now. Okay, so that's good. So let's log one thing here. Can you log an exercise? I walked for 45 minutes and burned 260 calories. So now Chloe has an MCP tool to log exercise. Beautiful thing about this, it's, it's deciding, actually I didn't have to say 260, it would have um, guessed it or estimated it and it would have been just fine. So now um, it logs that. So. Now let's go to ChatGPT. And here in the dev mode, I had added, so I have my Chloe MCP, but I added this other one, Chloe, which is this new OpenAI um, ChatGPT app. So, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna, look, you can click on that and then it's gonna use it. But you can also say add Chloe, like you see, it's kind of like you can add it like an app. So now what I wanna say, What's my latest calorie situation visually? So now it should check for that visual tool that I built uh, for ChatGPT that should visualize my calorie situation. But the thing about ChatGPT is it's not super great at these like tool calls. Uh, it's kind of slow, uh, so confirm. So look, look what it's doing. It's trying to load something in here, I basically have a React component now as part of the apps SDK coming back to ChatGPT here. Look what it did. It gave me a nice um, visualization. So I had a meal logged in the morning. Just a couple of minutes ago, we logged our exercise. So now it's 560 consumed, 260 burned. Um, it's kind of nice, I guess, but honestly, I'm not like, super feeling that if this is the future, it doesn't feel like the future. The other thing is like, we can actually ask it to like, let me turn this off. And let me ask ChatGPT to visualize this itself. Can you make a visualization of my calorie? Uh, situation, let's see. Uh, look, it's actually, <laughs> <laughs> making its own visualization. Uh, I don't know how long it's gonna take. So 
I coded up that visual that we looked at, like up here, and it's always gonna look like that. Um, oh, it's actually, what is it doing? Is it creating an image or something? Um, might be creating an image. I could actually ask it to use a chart. So like I while it's doing that, let's go here and ask Claude, can you make this into a chart? Let's see, like it's gonna write a bunch of code now, I think. Uh, there you go. So look, <laughs> so it's interesting, right? So it's creating um, a UI on the fly. And in here, I coded up that UI I sent it back. So now I'm kind of thinking, like, do we need to code up these UIs uh, if the AI is able to do it on its own? Um, oh, look, it, now this is loading, even though like, it's not super fast, but it wasn't super fast today either, right? Um, but here it's just making an image. I didn't really want an image. I kind of want, oh, look, this is what I wanted, right? So it made a visualization here on the fly, took probably less time than returning this one, <laughs> even though, you know, I bet it's gonna be faster. But I don't know, I don't know. I'm not like super convinced that um, this chat GPT's apps SDK and returning UI feels like the future. So we'll see, I guess, but it's kind of working now but I don't think I'm gonna keep working on building more UIs like this. I'm more interested in voice AIs and memory and privacy and things like that right now.